Hello guys, welcome to WebWorld Tech. In today's video, we are going to discuss about Kibana visualization section. So uh, visualization, what is visualization? So basically, uh, you have a lot of data which you are dumping inside Kibana. It can be related to logs uh, of different categories, your system logs, your application logs, your server logs, or Nginx logs. There are different categories of data which uh, usually we try to push inside Kibana. Now, out of that data, we would like to create some sort of visualization uh, which will give us some idea that what is happening inside the system. So, it has a very beautiful set of dashboards and options uh, which is uh, provided under Kibana. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, Kibana 7.8.1 version. So, yeah, let's start the video. This is Kibana home screen of 7.8.1 so let's go to visualization tab which is present here click on visualize you'll see there are a lot of sets of visualization listed down here few of them has been created by me and a few of them is already provided when i was downloading the dummy set of data which is provided under kivana for example flight logs or e-commerce logs these are some of the set of uh, data which you can provide. Uh, on a quick note, I would like to tell you from where uh, you can download this data. So if you see here, so here there is an option uh, inside observability, add log data, all this, all this stuff. So when you click uh, add log data, here there is an option of sample data. You, you can see I have added all of them. So for example, it's it's saying install, install, install. So for example, suppose uh, web logs, I can remove it and again I can add it. So this data you will see it's uh, getting added to my system. It's done. So that's how we add our uh, sample data inside our Kibana. So let's go back to visualization. Create visualization. Now these are the set of visualizations which is present inside 7.8.1. It may vary uh, on different versions of Kibana, but this is uh, what it is present currently. Uh, you will see some of the visualization is marked as B. So this means it is in beta version, it is in an under uh, testing stage. So what we are going to do we, in this particular video, uh, we are going to discuss about data table we will also discuss about uh, horizontal bars and vertical bars and the thir uh, third visualization which we are going to cover up is a cage so uh, in the subsequent videos we are going to uh, add more uh, sets of visualization where you can see uh, how all these visualizations are going to cover so let's start with the data table click on it again it will ask you which project do you want to uh, use this visualization for I'm going to select uh, flight logs. You'll see 90 days of uh, data is already selected and uh, total count is currently given. Okay, this 13,059 count is there. Now uh, inside the data, right side you'll see data and options. We are not uh, going to explore options first. Let's explore the data first. That will help us in creating the uh, this data table. So. Inside the matrices, you can expand and you'll see, you'll have the aggregation based on these, these uh, options. So currently, uh, it can be count, it can be unique count, percentiles, mean, median. We'll leave it as count. Uh, you can explore based on your use case, uh, what sort of visualization you want to create. I'll collapse it. Inside buckets, I'm going to add split rows. So these rows will get split based on aggregation of, let's do it on terms. Inside fields, you can set, uh, select all the fields uh, which is associated inside this project which is already indexed. So uh, Kivana is smart enough to suggest you all those fields which is associated to this logs project, flight logs. So let's select origin city name. I want to see. Uh, out of this total 13,000 number, from which city how many flights has have taken off in last 90 days? So this I'm going to update it. Origin city name. 
so it is giving me in descending order this option you can see descending order and the size is 5 so it is going to list down 5 top city names so if I'm going to make it 15 let's update it will give me th that data so here uh, there is an option you can see uh, the pagination has came up if you click on this this other half will be here now you can see the data is available here now this is one of the option uh, where you can create uh, this table which has these values in the left side and the corresponding count for those uh, those city names on the right side now suppose there is a situation uh, where I would like to add filters to the specific uh, country names so instead of uh, adding terms what I'll do I'll, I'll use filters select filter and here we can give origin city name as Rome and update so here you'll get uh, this value it's like uh, the data only filtered for Rome uh, you don't suppose you don't want to uh, make this value as like this which uh, you want to change the visualization of origin city name uh, equal to Rome you can click on this button label it as only Rome update you'll see the data will change as Rome so uh, filters you can do specific stuffs uh, suppose uh, with Rome you want to make a combination that uh, it is of Rome and some other value like maybe uh, origin country name or something like that so you can add and your complete query kibana query here and that will work as a filter in the corresponding data set so this is one of the uh, visualization uh, data table which we have seen currently it's a very high level uh, discussion about that you can play around it and a lot of stuffs can be done inside it let's make it back to terms origin name update so guys this was about uh, the data table visualization if you want to get in details and uh, play with all other options which is present inside this tab and understand everything about it uh, you can mention that in my comment section and I'll definitely make a video specific to that uh, this uh, data table visualization which will, will be targeting to all the other options which is present inside uh, here and uh, we can get into more details now let's go back to our visualize tab and create another visualization which we talked about earlier so the next one is a horizontal bar which we are going to discuss so it will be also based on the same flight logs so currently you see again uh, it has not been split so this is one bar itself you can say 13,000 rows are there so let's do the splitting part here again it is aggregation is based on the count level so we are going to work on uh, splitting this bucket on x axis this will be on terms again and we want to see uh, let's see based on the origin country first update it now you'll see uh, this chart has been split based on this origin country uh, column so you'll see uh, CA has 621 count and uh, similarly CN, Japan, US, like that it has been split. Again the same value is there in, in descending order and the size is 5. By default I'm going to update it as 10. So you'll get more data here. Uh, let's change this and uh, add it origin city names and update. Now you can see again on the descending order 10 cities are listed down Rome, London, Quito, Tokyo and all those stuffs are there. So this is a bar chart representation you can easily uh, use it uh, with any sorts of data which is which you want to represent in this particular form. Let's uh, go back to uh, the matrix and access wise. So here you can play with the chart type if it is a bar chart, area chart or line chart. Let's just see how it works with the same uh, data and the same fields which we have currently added in this visualization update it so this will be the area chart on hover it will show you the points 
like on this point this is london this is the third point this is the fourth point like that the next is line update this will give you the line information obviously in this particular uh, use case it's it does not make <clears throat> it does not make uh, much relevance uh, so it's better to go to the bar chart itself the other thing which we can see is this position x axis position so if you can if you want you want to change it you can make it right side update so it will be changing these values will be there in the right side you can play with it wherever you need it you can uh, you want it in the top update it it will come like this and the data will be get updated like this so you can play with different options the way you want to uh, make your visualization look uh, better which suits your requirement and you can put all this information here and uh, do these configurations here now let's go to the third tab which is panel settings you can see the legend position is currently marking as right i'm going to make it left let's update it you'll see this is the change which is coming out uh, coming on the visualization part so guys that's uh, that's it about the bar chart representation Hope uh, you understood uh, the basic stuff and how easy and quickly you can create uh, beautiful bar chart implementations, uh, visualizations with your data, different sorts of data you can play with. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, hope you like this video. We'll catch up on more sets of visualization uh, on a brief introduction part in the next video. Thanks for watching.